in this video i'm going to be going over band lab plugins versus the real plugins so you can kind of understand the differences and what you're limited to in band lab or how you can take real plugins like if you want to switch over and move you know what i'm saying so let's get into it first up we have auto pitch so this is auto tune for this so we just have a knob here we got like key and we can change the scale right here and then i'm gonna show you what the auto tune plugin looks like so this is entire's auto tune these are the people that created auto tune so this is the og so we see all the functions retune speed here we got flex tune we got vibrato we got humanize and then vibrato we can change different things we got the shape here we can do like rate onset delay onset rate variation pitch amount amplitude format so forth and so forth like we can sit up here change the vocal um input type um advanced we can take it off that go back here you know what i'm saying and we can switch classic mode um and there's a lot of different variations of this plugin like <laughs> you know what i'm saying there's a lot of variations of it but it has more features the algorithm is a little bit different so this is what auto pitch was created off of so like if you want to make the switch from band lab auto pitch to auto tune i'm just showing you the differences between those this is what a graphic eq looks like in band lab we got 100 200 400 800 1.6 3.2 6.4 we can go up 15 we can subtract 15 we're pretty much stuck we can change the output level right there so so we have this one in pro tools we see we got negative 12 we can go up 12 right but the ranges are different right we can go 16 k 8k 4k 2k 1k 500 250 125 63 31 a little bit more control with the ranges on how we could do you know what i'm saying and we got an output here as well um you can analog switch we can flip it on off but that's like a similar plugin you can use here but it's a lot of plugins that's like this but i'm not gonna take the time to pull them all out but i'm just showing you some of the comparisons between the band lab versions and the real all right so now we're gonna be talking about the band lab 1176 versus the other 1176s so basically we see right here we just have input output attack release and we can change the ratio between a 4 to 1 8 to 1 12 to 1 20 to 1 or all then i'm gonna go over here one thing about that you need to understand about the 1176 is that it's a lot of different <laughs> it's a lot of different modes right so we have this is bluey it's a black one and it's like a purple looking one so as we can see the input output attack release and all the ratios line up but the thing is we don't see how much gain reduction we're getting on the meter because we do not have a meter so that would be a cool thing to see if they could create something where you can actually see how much compression like how much is actually working because everything else checks out right we have the 4 to 1 8 to 1 12 to 1 20 to 1 input output attack release and then we go back to the plugin input output attack release all the ratios are there so they did a good job so it's like the band lab plugin is really from this way like from here to here right but we see right here is some extra stuff right here so we can turn this right here and we can change how much we want to mix in so that might be a big difference right there so it's like pay attention to that and you also got to understand like it's different versions of the 1176 right so da -da -da so that was the rev a and so like now this is the black one i think i think it's the black one yep so there we go the black one so the same thing right here just a different one so we got different options with this one and just as well with the other one let's see six and then we got this right here this right it should be the like purple looking one you know so there we go that's that now we have the tech lab ba2a so this is the band lab version of the teletronics um la2a right so we got gain and we got squeeze and we got mode limit compress right so now when i go and pull up the actual plugin that they made their plugin after this is what we have we have the teletronics right the la2a right so we got limit compression so we can flip the switch right there so they got that right so now we can switch between those two accordingly cool so now we go back here now we see we got gain we got peak reduction 
Now we got output, this right here, and we got the switch right here, so we can turn it off and on. So we go back over here and see what we got. So basically, this is the off and on switch here. <laughs> but we don't have the little meter, so we can't see how much it's reducing whenever it's active, right? So like if I put this on, on here right here, so like when I talk, you see how that's moving? There's no way to kind of tell how much it's actually working. See, like the further I pull it like this, the more it does work, right? So it's kind of helping you understand it a little bit more on how you like you know maneuver with it right and then we got this right here so it's like they don't have this on the actual band lab version but it's the band lab version hopefully they can get it up a little bit more to where it's a little bit different right so um yeah so this is the real version versus the band lab version so now we got the pitch shifter so the pitch shifter is basically like it makes your vocal deeper makes it lighter make it sound like a chipmunk or screwed up or whatever so basically we got the little shift so like the higher we go up that's the higher the vocal getting the lower we go that's the lowest again we got a mix signal right here right so we can control how much we can blend it with the main vocal accordingly so this type of plugin could be modeled after a lot of other plugins, but the plugin I'm gonna show you right here is Little Ultra Boy. So it does the same thing. Everything goes to 12, right? This right here, but this has format. So it's a difference between pitch and format, all right? We can quantize it, we can roll by it, and we got a drive here, and we got like, um, like a dry and wet. So that's the overall knob. So we have the same knob right here, as we got the mix so this is the mix knob right here but the shift we stuck with this right here we don't have no other option so we can only mess with the pitch not necessarily the format and for the last plugin for this video is going to be the multi shifter versus the real plugin the real plugin is either harmony engine or you can use waze harmony both of these do the same thing in theory but one you have a little bit more control so you can do the input cool it's gonna be vocal for a lot of people the octave up this right here affects that octave and it gives it like the little higher pitch voice this is gonna give it the screwed up voice in the same octave this is gonna give you the fifth and this is gonna give you the fifth down this is gonna get the fourth up and this is the fourth down and you got the wet dry so the dry like 100 percent the effect is gonna be there not really so it's like we put it down so it's like the dry so the dry now that that controls how much of the effect that goes into the actual vocal so when we look at the main plugin right here we have a lot of options so like we can do key um scale we can do harmony we can do fixed interval scale interval chord degrees chord name it's so many options right here we can glide the transition rate we can do the timing we can mess with the pitch variation we can normalize we can control a lot of stuff so we can go crazy with the intervals <laughs> you know what i'm saying so we can go crazy with those uh, we can pan go left right we can add in choirs you know what i said we can input voices how we want we can sit here and mess with the register so like if i wanted to do like this right here go down here and do degrees so now we can sit here and mess with how we want that the register like that's crazy we can do inversions we can do different chords <laughs> it's so crazy we can freeze the pitch like we can mess with the throat length um we can solo the input we can mute the input um it's so many different options we got right we can solo that we can mute this we can turn this up down we can add vibrato we can do pitch amount amplitude amount it's so many options we can do with the real version of this plugin that we can't do with the band lab version but i understand because it's the band lab version it's free for people to use and it's for a lot of people that's just not starting out but you can get some dope stuff with the multi shifter because I, I've used it. So like when I use BandLab, I'm using the multi-shifter to create similar effects that I could with this right here. The only thing is you can't expect to get what you can get with this with the BandLab version.